Starting in 2018 with my first ever Fortnite post, my grind to become the best began. As you can see, I was sweating it out in the Dusty Depot, and even as a beginner, I was clearly the most dominant player around. <laughs> Just kidding. At this point, I was playing Fortnite on my PS4 in college casually. I was just one of those guys going for some casual pub dubs. This was before competitive was really a thing. There was no World Cup, there was no Cash Cups or FNCS. There was only simply public matches. I kept playing the game casually until the day World Cup was announced, and this is when I was like, oh snap, this game means business. I gave it my best shot in the World Cup. I don't have any footage from it, but let me just tell you, I failed. But at that time, I was like, okay, if this is what competitive Fortnite is I gotta get a PC ASAP. So that's exactly what I did. I got a really cheap starting PC, but at the time it was able to get me like 60 FPS in endgame and 144 in regular games, so it was good enough. And then shortly after I switched to PC, of course, I switched to keyboard and mouse, the jiving you know today. So at this point in time, it's season X of Fortnite chapter one. And this is where I have my first ever recorded highlights from a tournament. Believe it or not, this was my first season on keyboard and mouse, and I got my first earnings in that season. I got 200 earned from a top 200 in Trio FNCS. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of built different in my first season on keyboard and mouse. I don't know what happened because now I'm some hot bleep. Here's some of the moments from that tourney that got me my first ever earnings. I can't help but laugh while I watch this, but honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. My voice just got really high, I'm gonna shut up. This guy's weak too. This guy's weak. That guy should be weak. Nice. nice. To your right. Last guy's weak too. Try to finish him. Try to finish him if you can. Edit yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Put a wall. Edit up. Put a wall. Finish. finish. I'll tell you what the first one. Nice. Ah! Let's go, baby. Use your last one. Good 20 left. Got this guy one shot right here. Use your last flash. First off, like, where is our teamwork, bro? We're literally just soloing in these end games. I don't know how we got earnings. Also, like, I am talking here. I just couldn't record my mic back in the day. But yeah, bro, we got the magic number of 169th place and $200 earned. One more highlight from season X because this is like the starting point of our competitive progress. This is my first ever solo cash cup highlight. At this point, I had only ever broken top 1,000 in a solo cup once, and it was a 395th place. It's pretty impressive, but Clearly, I need to gain some consistency. Moving into chapter two, my focus wasn't so heavy on Fortnite competitive. Don't get me wrong, I did play all the events, but I spent most of my time in creative, arena, and kill race wagers. Yeah, you heard that right. Me and my duo way back in the day did pub kill race wagers while they were really popular. And you know, I don't mean to brag, but we got around like $1,000 in earnings. But because I didn't scrim or VOD review, my placement stayed pretty bad. I was averaging between 1 and 3,000th place. But if we pass forward one year from this video, it is now Chapter 2, Season 4. Because of all that time I spent in creative and arena, my mechanics improved a ton. Over that past year, I literally just made montages like every other day. But at this point in time, Chapter 2, Season 4, I switched up my content and started making tutorials. That's when I actually started growing a pretty large audience, and what you're seeing on screen right Right now is my 10,000 subscriber montage. Let's see how much these mechanics have improved. Like 
So you can see my mechanics have improved a lot over the past year, but I still have a very 50-50 playstyle. If you don't know what that means, you can see in the montage that almost all of my kills are just 50-50s, where either I set up a bad edit and the enemy has a clear chance to shoot me, or I just jump in their face and we're just shooting each other to see who gets the kill. That's called a 50-50, and I was not very good at avoiding those back in the day. Nonetheless, major improvements from a year ago, and throughout the rest of my Fortnite journey, I've been making tutorials, tournament highlights, and pretty much just seeking out any way possible to improve. So right here at this point in the video, this is where the real competitive progression begins. By making tutorials, I was forced to really look at my gameplay since I'd be editing it like six hours a day. And I started figuring out new ways to improve because I'm staring at this gameplay all day and I'm like, dude, this is garbage. So let's make it better. Like I said, season four wasn't just the start of me making tutorials. I also started doing a little bit of tournament highlights. This right here is from the Nick A30 Cup and it's pretty much my first tournament highlights since season X a year ago. Let's see if we can notice any improvement. Okay, I make it to the last move in zone here, but look at this, I have a free left side. That entire left side looks so free, but I just cut back to the other side and start tanking zone. My awareness levels need some work. That was honestly not too bad. I got some pretty nice refreshes and everything in that end game. I placed 741st in that tourney, but most of my placements are still under a thousandth place at this point. One more really key thing that happened in season four was I made a specific tutorial that pretty much nobody in the community had ever talked about. And I personally think it's still one of the most important tutorials to date. The video was called how to peace control without taking damage. Remember how in my montage, I said I had a very 50 50 play style. Well, this specific video was meant to fix that. That. I popularized the idea of how to peace control from behind a right hand peak and over the next year or two I've just been working on mastering that to the highest ability possible. Over the next few seasons I did have a couple really good tournaments for example the very next season I got a 189th place in a solo cash cup my best yet but it was definitely a fluke because my second best placement of that season was 1400th. <laughs> But I studied that footage and learned from it. And going into the next season, I had my most consistent season yet with like four top 1000s. This season, season six, was probably my biggest groundbreaking season yet. I started a new series on my channel where I VOD review a pro player before a tournament and then try to apply those tips and tricks that I learned from the VOD review in the actual tournament. This forced me to step out of my comfort zone and learn new skills that before I would actually never really attempt. The best tourney was when I was trying to play like Benji Fishy. I got a 187th place. Oh, let's go, so many mats. Oh no, I fell. At this point, it seems like my mechs are pretty good despite me falling there. <laughs> but the two biggest things I need to get down are consistency in my mechanics and game knowledge, which VOD Review in the Pros is definitely going to help with that. Which is why this was one of my biggest seasons of improvement because I knew I needed game knowledge and by VOD Review in Pros every tourney, I was gaining that knowledge. Going into season number seven, I decided that I was going to take a break from Trio FNCS and focus on myself as a solo player. My solo placements were starting to get really close to money and pretty consistent so I was like if I focus on this for one season I think one it'll help me become a better player overall but also I might be able to make some money in solos this season I had some pretty crazy tournaments but the last one was the craziest of them all Ken Beans decided to help me out and coach me in the last solo cash cup let's go Javin let's go you got lots of chuck cannons here you're almost in you're almost in 
One more box. Plenty of chuck cannon. You can always hold. You have 120 men. Make sure you drop that kid. That's your wolf. Nah, he's healthy. You have you have cow as well. You can play play chuck as well. It's a good layer. You have five builds. Chuck cannon after this, maybe. Chuck cannon, chuck cannon. Match right there, match right there, match right there. Come here, baby boy. Let's go. Chuck cannon. You have seven builds. Match, match, match. It's okay, you can't have it, you can't have it. One more chuck cannon. You got five builds, five builds. While we didn't break top 100, it was crazy close and I definitely see improvement in that tourney. I look more calm, still a little bit frantic, but more calm in these end games. My mechanics look sharper and more consistent. Everything just is starting to fall into place. It's because I've been doing all those pro VOD reviews and really learning my game. But now it's time to skip ahead a few seasons to almost present day. Chapter three, season two. This was the season that finally broke through. In the first solo cash cup of the season, I hopped in ready to pop off and this is from my last game, I needed to get around 115 points to qual. Here's what happened. I got 101st place. No! It's okay. Going into the next week, I knew I had my strats down and I knew I had the skill to make it happen. This was the most confident I ever went into a solo cash cup. At this point in the video, I think you're going to be able to see how much I've progressed as a solo player. The opening game of the second cash cup of the season went like this. One of my most perfect solo cash cup endgames I had ever played up to that point. In the last game, I needed to clutch up a lot of points and it could not have come down more to the wire. Enough, bro? I managed to pull it off, but I totally flopped in finals, if I'm being honest. I'd never made a set finals before, but hey, at least we made it to one now. Now that's cool and all with the solo grind, but whatever happened to FNCS? You know, I quit in season seven of chapter two, but I actually came back in chapter three. Chapter three, season one, I played with Rhodey and we did all right, but we had room to improve. We scrimmed in the off season and came back in season two. There were three qualifiers for this FNCS, we managed to make semi-finals in all three. And because of all that time I spent working on my solo game, I actually became a really good solo clutcher. Here was my best clutch in FNCS. Nice. Feel it, baby. Pop off, King. Yup. They got nothing. Look at him. Looking there like a flopper. All right, that should be ours. Nice. That, that whole tarp in front of you is ours. Still got that missed. I'm not sure they had any heals. Oh, I'm strapped. Yeah. Third. Hey. 
Now, while it's a positive thing that I got good at solo clutching, all that time spent working on solos alone sent me behind on communication and teamwork. So I knew going into the next season that I needed to work on that, but I actually ended up swapping teammates and playing with Ken Beans in season three. Season three FNCS was different than the previous ones. In order to make semifinals, you had to get top 250 instead of top 500. And despite the harder qual, we managed to clutch up and make every single semifinals. I was IGL this season with Ken Beans and you can definitely see we were playing together in this end game. This was probably the craziest game I've ever played in all of Fortnite to clutch up qual for one of the semifinals. Now that season we didn't make heats, but we did make two set finals lobbies in performance eval cups. Nothing crazy, but hey, it's a start. Going into season four, that's where we are at present time. I think you can notice the improvement has been insane over the past few years, but more specifically over the past few seasons. Making this video just fueled my grind even more, and I'm so ready to pop off in the future. It's currently mid season four, and Ken and I just had our best tourney of all time. If you want to see that, I definitely recommend clicking that video on your screen right now. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.